Hello. Today on DIY with Chris. DIY with Chris. Giving you the tools to do it yourself. Hello everyone. So we're doing a unboxing and initial video review on a few products that we recently got in. So this one is going to be part of our security system or one of the security systems we're looking at. Um, we got a few different types since we're going to see which one works best and figure out which one we're going to go with. Um, so the first portion of our uh, security system that we're looking at is the Blink XT cameras. Um, so I actually have already a wired uh, closed circuit TV system and cameras for that. There's like eight of those cameras, but I hate having to run the wiring and whatnot. Probably still going to use them, but I was looking for something additional that I can throw on the outside of the house without having to run uh, wiring to it. So we'd get these. Uh, these are the Blink cameras. We've got the five camera system. Uh, these cameras are completely wire free. They run off of batteries. The batteries are supposed to last two years on this. And that's what it says actually right on the box. It's supposed to last two years. So uh, we purchased these on Amazon customer reviews. There are 2,670 customer reviews on this product, uh, or at least this specific one that I bought. And uh, there are 49% of those are five star and 19% are four stars. So that's uh, about 60% right there that are four star and above, so that's pretty good. There are 14% one star. So those one stars, the problems that they were having with this system is that uh, it wasn't able to connect to the network very good, um, that the live feed was having issues, that um, they just weren't working very good. So it wasn't catching the motion very easy and it was having some issues like that. And also the customer service was absolutely horrible. So I hope that we don't have to deal with the customer service, um, but these were kind of the best, because I looked at multiple different type, um, types on there and looked at the reviews for them and whatnot. And this one was one of the ones that had the least amount of uh, negative reviews and the problems that they experienced. Um, with the negative aspects of it. So simple installation, no contracts, completely wire free. So we don't, yeah, there's no contracts. There's no monitoring service for this at all either. Um, but this also has an app for you so you can watch the live feed. And also uh, when it detects um, movement or whatnot, it'll send you a message and give you the link to that little clip it where it saw the movement, so how much monitoring you really need somebody else to monitor that. Uh, some of some of you guys might want to do that if you're in a low service area, so maybe you won't be getting the messages from the cameras or whatnot, but uh, we shouldn't have that problem, so I'm not really worried about it. So I don't need somebody else to monitor my system as far as this goes. And again, we're planning on putting these outside. So they do have indoor and outdoor versions of the cameras. These are the outdoor versions. They're supposed to be um, more protected that way. So this is the camera. You can see the actual sensor uh, portion right there and the lens is up here. Um, and then it has some stuff on the back here. Slide the latch down, lift cover from bottom, lift cover off from bottom. So um, I think that's just installation instructions, basic installation instructions, which we'll figure out a little bit later. Um, we can kind of show you how to do a little bit of installation. We'll put a clip in of, of that. Um, so this does have the five cameras, and then this is the actual base unit that connects them all. So this has its own little Wi-Fi system. So a problem that some people have been having with the one-star reviews is that you can get range extenders for this because this is the base unit initially, and then you can get extenders for it, um, range extenders if you have to put it on the opposite sides of the house or whatnot. And so they did run into issues with the range extenders on it um, and whatnot, and just had some issues with the actual um, connectability in, in the network. Next thing we have here is the actual system cable. So this is the cable for the actual, for this unit. 
itself because it has the USB port on one side and it has the actual micro USB on the other. And then this is the actual plug-in. So this is the only portion of the entire unit that has to be plugged in um, is this base network portion. So uh, this just plugs into there and that's that. Let's see if there's anything else under here. Yeah, so there's a little pack of camera accessories under there for each of them. There's five separate packs under there. Okay, so the first thing comes a uh, mounting bracket. So this is a standard mounting bracket. We actually purchased other mounting brackets as well that have a full 360 degree swivel versus this one. Um, this one does not have that 360 degree swivel. I'll pull it out for you. This goes what it looks like maybe 180 degrees. Okay, so um, now this portion does swivel. This little round piece is what actually goes to the back of the camera there. So you have just a lever system there, and then this does spin full 360 degrees around that way. Um, but it's still not a full 360 like off of a ball, so you're going to be limited in the angles that you can actually get with this. So each one of the um, each one of the camera sets comes with the actual base unit, and then it comes with the batteries. And these are just AA Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries, and these are what's supposed to last two years on your cameras. So some of the one star reviews also said that. <laughs> These batteries didn't even last a few months, let alone a few years. Um, but again, when you're selling that many of them, I expect for there to be a margin of error for them. So we'll go ahead and uh, get these put together and then we'll give you a little bit more of a uh, video. We'll put in a snippet of how the actual app works and everything. We still need to download the app, set up the system and whatnot, and then show you what the live feed is like. Um, and see how it works. We're getting ready to do the uh, blink camera setup now. Um, so we do have mounted packets and everything. Uh, so we do have this power cable for this one. There's no good way of mounting this. There's no mounting system or anything. So this is just gonna probably sit on the floor or on the desk or whatnot. And so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in at this time. Now we did purchase um, some additional mounts. These are the 360 degree mounts right here. And these 360 degree mounts actually come with a full on protective case for the camera, as well as the actual um, mount portion. And then here is the base. So the base has three screw holes. Um, and then this does come off. You just screw that back on. So uh, that was just to show you that this is already in the case and everything. So that is an option. Uh, for you to get the case, and that's what this box is over here. Uh, so outside of that, we have our next camera, and each camera has their own little sleeve. It's a cardboard sleeve with two items in it. It's this basic mount unit hardware, and then the actual two batteries for it. So in order to take the case off the back of it, you just, on this gray piece that has the arrow pointing down, you just, and it has a flat top right there, you just push down on that flat top and then pry up from the bottom and that back will come off. So you have that. The camera that's in the in that 360 base already has batteries in it too, but these are this actually comes with batteries, which is really nice. And so I'm gonna install the batteries on this. There is also a little button in here by the battery compartment. And it says uh, record LED and you can turn that on and off. It's a blue LED and so you can just turn that off and so when it's recording it'll have the blue light which tells somebody hey you're being watched which can kind of be a good deterrent um, or you can just turn it off. So you have that option but that's right there in the case. And when you're putting back on 
Um, I just go around all the sides and push it down and make sure it'll have a little click. So and that's it for that camera. It's in there now. I'm not going to put that face on it. But now that we have a camera uh, and that's turned on, there is an app for this that you'll have to go through and it is the Blink Home Monitor app. So that's on the App Store and we're going to go ahead and open that now and go through the setup process. So we are going to have to create an account right here, so I'll put that down, and you just have to put in um, So I'm going to hit create account for best experience. You just select your actual country and then put in an email address and password. And then you'll hit agree. It says uh, your account has been created. We've sent a confirmation link to the email provided. Click that link in the next 24 hours to activate it. I'm going to hit go to blink. We're going to tap the logo to begin. Add a system. Name your system. So we're just going to do home. And then tap add sync module, which is here down on the bottom left. Uh, before you begin, you will need your sync module serial number located on the bottom of the unit, the name and password of the Wi-Fi that Blink will be using, and good signal strength. So enter the serial number, and then we will allow the location. Uh, it says do the lights on the sync module match the pattern above and that's a green lower light with a strobing blue light up top and it does it's connecting to the phone now um, and then we're going to join the blink Wi-Fi and I'll just hit connect with risk again then we'll choose the actual Wi-Fi that we'll be using so I chose this uh, the blink cameras over the ring cameras that go with the rest of our security system because the servers are better for the blink so it's much more responsive when you're not at home and you're actually trying to view what's going on and whatnot the ring ones which I would love to get um, the servers aren't very good so the live video and whatnot you have issues and you can't actually see them but uh, those cameras are actually really nice they have the floodlights they have a two-way intercom on them and then the actual camera with motion sensing so they're very good uh, these cameras do not have intercom or lights on them it just has it does have the ir and it has motion sensing So it is now updating the sync module firmware and we'll hit done. Then we'll start adding devices. So before you will begin you will need the device serial number located on the back of the unit inside the battery cover. And if the batteries have been in the device for some time, it may be in low power mode, please remove the batteries for 10 seconds before continuing. So I'm going to go ahead and take the batteries out and get the cereal. It is nice to know that it does go into low power mode when uh, it's not being used. That will save the battery life and that should help with their claims of the batteries lasting up to two years. So I just punched in the serial number there. It says looking for your XT camera, updating firmware. Uh, it says name the camera. So this is saying place the camera and tap the snapshot button. Um, so that's kind of inconvenient. We're trying to do the setup right now, and it's wanting me to go and actually place it where I want it and hit this and hit the snapshot button, which is a little bit annoying because I don't really want to set it up right now. I want to get all my cameras set up. So I guess we'll do that this time though. 
we got the first camera set up and uh, it has you take a screenshot of the view and so it has that screenshot um, that you initially took and it's right there on the home screen so we're going to set up the next device um, I, so again I, I really dislike how I have to stop and go to the screenshot and then continue on with it especially when I haven't mounted it yet because I, I mean it just had me read the serial where I had to have the back off so that's kind of annoying. So the only thing that really happened after I got the screenshot is uh, it just saved that and then I went ahead and I installed it on the actual house. Another thing is I tried to do the 360 camera mount and it doesn't work very good, it sucks. So we're not using those, we're probably going to return them. Um, the big problem that I ran into is that, I already put them away, but um, on the actual swivel mount, there's only a cutout. There's only a cutout on one portion of it. So I was trying to get the, the camera to turn over this way, except the swivel cutout was on the opposite side. And the only way I can fix that is either by, by loosening the connector and then the camera falls or I have to over tighten it and then it can break them out. It is disarmed right now and I can still get live video. Uh, it'll give you about a five second splurt. And uh, it does also capture audio. So that's another really good thing. But I'll go ahead and get these up and show you the app afterwards. All right, so we have our cameras up and uh, this is just the home screen, the dashboard of the app. And you have the screenshots. You can tap this camera on the right to update your screenshots um, and then you can rename your cameras if you move them whatnot you can disconnect them if you hit that video camera on the left that'll give you the live feed and again you also get audio too um, I do have five cameras there's just the four that are right here and the fifth one will keep you guessing and then you can also right here on the bottom right you can arm and disarm them so whenever we're home they'll they'll be disarmed and that'll also save on the battery life and then whenever we leave or probably at night as well then we'll go ahead and arm them so uh, that's that if you have any questions just let us know we'll do our best to answer them have a great day if you have any questions on that camera system on the blink xt camera system go ahead and let us know we'll try and answer them to the best of my abilities um, other than that have a great day diy with chris giving you the tools to do it yourself. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.